Hi guys, Coach Siobhan here. So I wanted to make this video to see if I can help people um, with their top spin forehand. Sometimes if you don't play for a while or maybe you just struggle in general with uh, accelerating and racketed speed and being able to control the top spin of the ball, I'm hoping that this video sort of helps you um, sort of uh, understand how to, how to practice it and what to practice. So let's get into it. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. I'm just facing the back fence here and all I'm doing is dropping the ball to the right of my body and just working on accelerating up through the back of the ball. Now you can imagine like, let's say you're hitting short court. This is a great drill to do just before you hit short court. Because in short court, you're really trying to control the spin and the shape. You're not really trying to plow through and move the ball through the back of the court so much. You're just trying to create that nice dip to the ball which gives your partner a chance to sort of hit the ball back to you. So if you struggle with this, this could be a great way to sort of warm up for that. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing my normal unit turn, a couple tips on the unit turn. After I drop the ball, I kind of put my hand back on the racket. You can see here, so I, I drop the ball, give myself enough space, right? Uh, and I'm dropping the ball to the right side of my body. I put my left hand on it and then I release that racket and I want a nice extension out to the right of my arm, or right of my shoulder, right? I'm not gonna put that racket too far in the back because it's gonna make it very hard for me to control the speed coming forward. So I'm extending my arm out on the racket drop. And you can see here, my racket strings are facing the ground, but they're starting to open up as I do my racket flip. And it's a natural progression on the racket flip. And you see the racket is slightly open. And now as I bring that racket forward, there's my racket leg. Okay, and I'm bringing the racket to the ball, and I'm just sort of brushing up through the contact point. I'm just accelerating up through the contact point and around towards my left shoulder. And there's my racket, uh, sort of my wrist pronation here. And this wrist pronation is meant to control the shape of the ball. That's why my ball didn't go very high, because you can see here my wrist turnover, or sorry, my, my wrist pronation and my racket strings are facing the ground. Um, you can see on the follow through, they start to open up again. That's just through the follow through. Now, a couple of things to note about this. As I brush and accelerate up through the back of the ball, I want to feel that flush feeling of my strings sort of brushing up on the back of that ball. And I want to feel it in the center of my racket, okay? And as I brush and I get, get that, that feedback from the racket, I know that I'm going to see my ball sort of stay under my follow through and start to, to arc down. You can see the arch on the ball here starts to drop. It's a slight drop. And again, I'm not trying to hit the ball very high. I'm not trying to do a loopy shot. All I'm trying to do is just control the top spin and feel a nice flush feeling off of the strings. Okay, so you can imagine that the bottom of the sort of wing guard there, I'm trying to aim for just above that wing guard. So a little bit if that was a net, a little bit low, you know, it's a little bit low, but my, again, my goal is to make sure that my, the ball, the arc of the ball stays under my follow through. Okay. And you can control the shape, the height of it, however you want. If you want to hit it a little bit higher then that, that's all up to you. You can, you know, pronate a little bit differently to get a little bit more loop. But again, the most important thing is I'm brushing, I'm accelerating that racket head up through the back of the ball and working on my pronation. So this is a great drill to sort of do. You can do this a good 20 times just before you go into short court hitting or deep court hitting if you do that. And that'll help you sort of get your, get your body attuned to what you want to feel when you're hitting that ball, okay? And this is a little bit more exaggerated than the way I would hit if, if, if I'm hitting from the baseline or if I'm plowing through. It's just your standard top spin ball just to get you sort of uh, get your consistency going so you can rally with a friend. So hopefully this helps you. If you guys have any questions or comments, please comment below. Um, and hopefully this video helped you. If it has, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you guys soon.